Hey, I heard CM12S is out for OnePlus One. Yeah, I got it right here. Hi folks, I'm Sohan, Android.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, CM12S, the official CM12S was just released last night. I've been playing with it for the last couple hours. Let me give you a hands-on look. Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> All right guys, here is CM12S for the OnePlus One. Let's actually go ahead and start with the settings. You'll see that the settings background has been changed with a black background, make it easier to see. Uh, about phone, you'll find Android 5.0.2, of course. Um, and finally, if you have not tried Lollipop yet, you can actually try the Lollipop uh, Android game here. Ooh, ah, all right. All right, let's actually go take a look at settings real quick here. Uh, pretty much the same up here, uh, sounds, display, and uh, lights. Now themes has been really improved. Um, now you can go ahead and download a bunch of more themes. Uh, you do get the Hexo theme. This is the Hexo Lollipop theme. Uh, slightly different, yeah, it's about the same uh, before as the KitKat. And here's a free theme I've downloaded. There's now a ton of themes now you can download, which is cool. Um, this will also change uh, your layout of that, uh, which is nice. And let me go ahead and show you the lock screen with that. And also you can go ahead and go to the themes packs here. Um, there's a bunch of free ones also here you can download. Uh, there's a ton more than before. Uh, these are actually more polished themes, I would say. All right, with CM12S, you can now customize the theme um, just the way you want it. You can go ahead and change the icons, the wallpaper, uh, all of these features you can actually change. Um, so you can mix and match from different uh, themes. Also, there's this app themer thing. They'll go around, uh, let's say you like Hexo theme, but you don't like the black background. Um, you can set this to system or another theme, and you'll see that it changes the system UI to the uh, green theme there, while it does not change the overall theme. Um, so this is a great way. Also, you can go ahead and hold and drag and get rid of it uh, to customize. I see Sinogen Mod has really worked on uh, their theming. This is probably their best work yet for themes. Uh, if you have a OnePlus One, then you get to try out all the new features from Sinogen Mod. I'm not sure if all these features will be available for the regular CM12. Uh, I'm sure it will be, uh, but it looks very good. Also, you get the Screencast app uh, working out of the box, just like before. And let me go ahead and shut this off. All right, and there is my Screencast recording. And boom shakalaka. Also, status bar, you get a nice black background also here. All right, let's actually go take a look at some other options you've got here. Uh, if you go all the way down to status bar, you can go ahead and customize your clock style. I like it in the center. Uh, the battery status, you can go ahead and change this to text hidden uh, icon. Portrait, if you want. Battery control. All right, this is standard CM12 feature. There we go. So you can go ahead and control the brightness. Also, if you go to notification drawer, you can go ahead and uh, rearrange the tiles uh, any way you want to and add more, more tiles. All right, there we go. Hotspot, all that good stuff. And also you can uh, make the rows smaller if you want. And boom shakalaka, you can fit more apps in there. Also now you can go ahead and go to settings users and add extra users if you want. Uh, that would be great if you have kids and you want to separate all your stuff from their games. Other than that, the performance on this is, I think, way better. It just feels way zippier than the Oxygen ROM, which I've been running for the last week or so. Definitely check this one out. Also, Quadrant, I got about 49,000 uh, with this ROM, so very good stuff. Of course, the recents looks like this now. Um, also, clear button up there. And also, let's go ahead and take a look at the gallery real quick. The gallery has changed a little bit. This sort of like a Sony UI, or I'm not sure, but uh, you can go ahead and organize them by moments, albums, uh, which I prefer. Uh, there you go. So that's the new gallery app. And let's actually go take a look at the camera real quick. Of course, you get the one plus one camera. Thank you very much. Uh, let's actually go check out the modes. I think they're all the same, except for a couple of these at the end. Slow shutter, I think smart scene is new, clear image. Um, but of course, the best thing about CM12S, you can go ahead and record in 4K using the OnePlus One camera. Um, so let me go ahead and just demonstrate that it's working flawless there. And you can go ahead and focus. Um, so that is really nice. Other options include a save raw image. So now you can actually 
go ahead and record uh, raw images. Uh, very nice. Focus mode, ISO, auto exposure, uh, anti banding. I'm not sure what that is. And slow shutter speed. Uh, you can set that to eight seconds. Uh, for example, if you want to take some um, cool night shots of the moon or something, then I guess you could use that. Also for video, you got time lapse there, a focus, all that good stuff. And in general, you'll be able to enable power button um, for your photos. Of course, don't forget the gestures are still working. You can go ahead and find those in settings, gestures down here. You'll be able to activate your camera just like before with the O, uh, or you can go ahead. Ah, now the now I actually activated the power button as a shutter. All right, you can also activate your flash, turn it off all that good stuff working flawless. Of course, the best thing about the CM12S is that you still get the CM12 original lock screen. Uh, some of you may have liked this a lot. Also, this is great when you're playing music, um, notifications, all that good stuff will show up there. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the buttons here. Of course, you can go ahead and disable the nav buttons, enable that, the nav buttons, and this will disable the backlight, which we were having trouble with the custom ROMs. They didn't have this option. Uh, it would leave your lights on. All right, also left-handed mode, buttons and layout. If you wanna go ahead and add an extra button, uh, you can go ahead and add the menu button there. Also, you can change the recent long press action. Also power menu, you can go ahead and add a screenshot in there, that's nifty. And also you can go ahead and customize your hardware buttons down here. And don't forget you got navigation ring targets. You can go ahead and add up to three ring targets of your favorite applications. Uh, let's just add a bunch of random ones here audio effects you can go straight into audio fx app now audio fx app now also has these preset modes which is nice uh, the ui has changed a little bit which is very nice all these new equalizer presets very nice and of course you can go custom also your bass and treble you can go ahead and do that max volume that'll make everything louder ah and that's pretty much it, so definitely check it out. Looking very good. Performance on this bad boy is pretty good, and 2.2 ran about 50,000. But overall, just the performance is just blistering fast, and uh, this is gonna be a very good upgrade. I think this is way better than Oxygen ROM, so definitely check it out. And thanks for watching this video. I highly recommend the 12S. I love it. You get to keep all of the original features. There's new theming. The audio FX app is better. The camera is better. Everything is better, faster. I will have a screen on time test for this bad boy. Since now we have an SOT time for the Oxygen OS, we can compare head to head how long the battery lasts on this bad boy. I'll have that shortly later today. In the meanwhile, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want more videos like this and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And as always, I'll stay on Android.